Good afternoon, Mike Grasso, children's author and game designer of Private Pook Games. This is a solo mode demonstration uh, for Slapped Silly, the card game. I previously did a video demonstrating how to play in competitive mode with two players. This is going to be the solo mode if you are one player looking to face off against a enemy AI. It is just a little bit more complicated than competitive, but not too much. It still flows very well, and I wanted to make a video that really helps it go as naturally as possible and help people understand thematically what is happening and why, as an avid solo gamer myself, I really wanted to include this mode as an option. So to begin with, we have some components that we had in the competitive video. We still have the player boards um, that have all this info. Uh, one of those will be used. The other is getting flipped to the enemy side. You can see the enemy side has the enemy stat card where whichever one you choose will go. It has a place for you to put enemy equips. And then a couple other things that we'll explain in this video. To begin with, with the setup, we'll use both of those. We will pick one enemy. We have a good number of them. These are proxied cards for the record. The final ones will look a little better and we'll have updated art, but I did want to show you that we have Sir Eric of Slap along with all of his stats. We have Martha Mashhead who... Uh, wants to swat you with a fly swatter. That's how she slaps people. We have Stinky, who's, you know, just Stinky. And then we have the Fist. He's one of the toughest ones there. They uh, both have stats on them, and then on the other side they have a short um, description of what their story is, along with a difficulty rating listed. I'm going to choose Sir Eric of Slap because he is a level 2 difficulty. He's pretty balanced. I'm going to use him. And in order to set him up, I am going to place his enemy stat card where it says enemy stat card. And you can see here that we have 14 HP, and then his enemy actions are listed on here, how many cards he will draw, uh, which will be determined by this deck in just a moment. Uh, he also has a box at the top for his special equip, which is a fanciful gauntlet. Sir Eric of Slap seems, thinks that he is a very fanciful person, so he has a fanciful gauntlet he tries to equip and slap you with. And then his special ability is the Stunning Slap. He stuns you by slapping you that hard. So I'm going to put him over here. That's where uh, Sir Eric's going to go. You know, I'm going to pull that back a little bit, though, because we also have our enemy action deck. These are also proxied, just uh, so you understand why these are a little bit messier looking. They're actually proxied out of magic cards from my local gaming store, uh, Grandmaster Games. By the way, a wonderful gaming store if you are in the Chicago area. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these to set them up. And I am going to put them at the top left where it says enemy action deck. It also says enemy action discard here, so you can see I'm going to put the deck at the top left, and then as I draw cards from it, I will put those to the right. But let's start with those there. Put them fairly close to the top because I want to make sure that I have enough room to really show this. I know I've sacrificed my shot a little bit on the right and left, but I think it's worth it to really show how this works. And then the player board, which represents me, I'm going to set it a little off to the right, both to give some space here where I can show my drawn cards, but um, also so we can just have a good amount of room with the space we have. Then I have the main deck. This is, I'm sorry, the draw deck. The main deck I call the draw deck in the instructions, so I should use that word here. These have already been shuffled, but I'll give them another, yeah, half-hearted shuffle here. In the instructions, it says to set them off to your left, I'm, uh, which I think it doesn't really matter where you put them. I just think off to the left makes sense because only you need to reach them. It's not something where all the players have to reach them, like in competitive mode. If I was setting this up without this camera angle in space, I'd probably do it like this. But for this purpose, I'm going to put them about right here. And that way, hopefully, you can get a good idea of what everything does. Now, to begin the game, I draw five cards for myself. I do not draw any cards for the opponent because their cards will be determined by the enemy action deck. Ooh, not too bad. Got some slap cards. Looking pretty good. All right, so it begins as I take my turn as normal. So I'm going to do what I would normally do. I see I have some slap cards, but I want to draw one card for my first action. I get three actions total. One action. Ooh, I got Metal Mask. So I'm going to try and equip Metal Mask for my second action. What I do for my actions is I play any cards to the right. It says play your cards here. 
I'm going to play my actions like this. My first one I'm going to put right next to the board. It's not going to resolve yet. That's all going to happen after both me and Sir Eric of Slap have taken our turns. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try giving him a little slap with two cards. I'm going to play two of them. That's my third action, and I am done now. So now that I've taken my action before anything resolves, Sir Eric of Slap has to draw his card. So he's going to pull a card from the enemy action deck. Wow, I got 10. So the way it works is I take the number I draw from the enemy action deck, which I'm going to tell you right off the bat, 10 is the highest number in there. I am not doing well so far. And then what I do is I add the total slap damage I've played, which is 2, and I get 12. I look on the card under enemy actions, and I see that if I get 9 through 12, which I did, it says draw 3. So I'm going to go ahead and discard that here. And for Sir Eric of Slap, I'm going to draw 3 cards. I'm going to place them to the left instead of the right. My played cards go here. Sir Eric's played cards go here. And if you notice, he, I am playing them from right to left. Just like I played the player cards from left to right, I played Eric's cards from right to left. That shows me the order in which they were drawn. Now we've both drawn our cards, so now we start by resolving mine. First, Metal Mask. Do I have any reaction cards that Sir Eric has drawn that can cancel it? No, I, he does not. So I'm going to equip Metal Mask. Hooray. I'm going to look here. Before I resolve these, has Sir Eric of Slap drawn any reaction cards that um, counter these, like block or dodge? Sir Eric of Slap has not. So these cards resolve, and I place them below where it says enemy slap damage and status. So I just slapped Sir Eric for two damage. Yay for me. I'm done resolving my cards, so now I'm going to resolve Sir Eric's cards, but I'm going to do it from right to left in the order in which they were drawn. Slap. Do I have anything to counter it? I do. I'm going to counter slap with block. That gets discarded. Boost. Ooh, it's an ability card. I don't have anything to counter it. So, boost resolves, and Sir Eric of Slap draws one, two, three new cards. And I put them like this because I'm going to draw the cards and put them where boost was. Slap. Can I counter that? No, I cannot. So it resolves and boom. Eric just slapped me for one damage. Gloves. Do I have a reaction card for that? I do. I have shove. That cancels an equip card. So no thanks, Sir Eric. You are not putting on gloves. But unfortunately, Sir Eric has disarm a slap card and I have nothing to counter it. So disarm disarms me of my metal mask. Oh, stinks. And then lastly... He has one more Gloves card that I was not able to disarm, and uh, that I was not able to counter with Shove, and he equips it. Turn over. Then we go back to the beginning. I get three actions again. I only have one card in my hand, so I'm going to start by drawing a card, because I really want to build up my hand again. One. That's good. So I could disarm with Gloves now. However... If I was to use my second action to do Disarm and then play with Critical Slap, I would have nothing else to defend myself with. So I'm going to draw one more card for my second action. Ooh, Slap Silly, pretty good. I am going to go ahead and for my final action, I'm going to play Slap Silly, which adds one damage to all cards. And then my Critical Slap, which cannot be blocked and cannot be healed. That's very key here. It can be dodged, but we're going to hope Sir Eric doesn't get that. I'm going to go ahead and play that for my third action. All right. What do we do next? We draw an enemy action card. Seven. That's still pretty high. We add the two damage that I have played to get nine. And then we check Sir Eric of Slap's enemy actions. Oh, nine through 12 is drawn. Three cards. Let's hope. Okay, not too bad. Still not too bad, and yeah, I can I can handle this. We're all good. All right, I'm going to resolve my cards first. Uh, do, does uh, Sir Eric have anything to counter it? Nope. Distract will counter an ability card, but not a slap, so boom. I just critical slapped you, Sir Eric. I'm going to discard slap silly because it alters the damage here, but it's not required to track the damage afterwards. I just turn this sideways, and I'm all good. 
Um, then I'm good. I'm done resolving my cards. For Sir Eric, I have Metal Mask, and I have nothing to counter it with. Disarm can uh, remove Metal Mask, but it can't counter him playing it. Shove is what I would need for that. So I can wait until next turn and then take this one off. So I'm going to go ahead and place it like this since he has more than one equip. Uh, Sir Eric is allowed to put on multiple equips. Uh, you can't put more than one on each of these, uh, but Sir Eric is allowed to put multiple ones in there. Distract is a reaction card. That's not necessary. Um, if the enemy ever draws cards that really just, when it comes time to resolve them, don't have any effect, you just discard them. Don't worry about it. It's nice and simple. And then lastly, I clearly cannot counter a slap with disarm. So I've been slapped for two damage. That's uh, hurting a little bit, but I have slapped Sir Eric for four, so I'm doing a okay. Uh, it is worth noting, though, that Sir Eric of Slap has 14 HP, and I only have 10, so not that far ahead. All right, back to my turn. I'm going to draw a card first and see what I get. That looks pretty good. I could disarm and then slap again, but I'm going to draw one more card for my second action. Pretty cool. And then for my third action, rather than trying to attack, because Metal Mask is going to limit the damage I can do, I am going to play a card to disarm. Now that I've done with my actions, I'm going to decide Sir Eric's actions by picking an enemy action card. Enemy ability. Awesome. We get to show how this works. So the way enemy abilities work is I'm going to play the card to the left just like I would any other one. I'm going to check Sir Eric's ability. It says, Stunning Slap. Players discard their last action resolves immediately. Now here's what's cool about this. Uh, well, cool for Eric, not for me. Uh, normally... If it did not say resolves immediately, I would put this here. It would resolve exactly like any of the other abilities that Sir Eric might play. But this says resolve immediately. So right away, he's going to stunning slap me unless I have a card to counter an ability. I clearly don't. So congrats, Sir Eric. You just stunning slapped me, and I must discard my last action. Ugh. So sorry, Sir Eric managed to keep his gloves and metal mask on. So this one resolves immediately. Uh, because it has the plus one on there, the plus one means once I'm done playing that one, I draw another one. Five. Not too bad. So let's look at five for Sir Eric of Slap. Three through eight means draw two. Not too bad. One and two. I don't have to resolve any of mine because it was canceled. Uh, these are both equip cards that not only do I not have reactions to, but he already has gloves and metal mask equipped. So if they're not going to have an effect, you can't equip more than one equip of the same name. Those get discarded. So while it didn't really go well for me, Sir Eric didn't manage to do anything to me in the process. So it really wasn't a good round for either of us. All right, back to my turn. I'm going to draw a card first because I want to build up my hand. Ooh, that could be nice, Ice Pack, but I'm going to wait and see if I get any higher slap cards on there. I'm going to draw a second one, and then I'm going to... This is a risky move. However, I have two really good slap cards, and I have Slap Silly, which means I get to turn both of these to their higher damage. For my third action, I'm going to take a big risk, and I'm going to play six slap damage. Now, this could work out really well for me, however... We add all slap damage I've played to the card that's here, which means I'm adding six to it. And if you look at Sir Eric of Slap's actions, the higher the number gets, and this is, there's a little bit of variation with the enemies, but generally speaking, the higher the enemy action number, the more cards they draw. And in some instances, for instance, Martha Mashhead right here, they will add in additional things. For instance, she will uh, add in an additional block if you get up too high. So, when you slap for more damage, you are accomplishing your goal of, you know, winning the uh, fight, but you are also thematically revving up the person. Thematically, what's happening, and what I went for as a game designer, is if you're going to slap someone more or slap them harder, they're going to react more. They're going to get more upset. They're going to say more, oh, I'm going to get revenge on you, which means they are going to become more aggressive in response. So, thematically... It was something I thought was really important, is anytime you're going to take a risk like this, 
they could pay off, but you better be ready for Sir Eric of Slap to not really be happy that you just slapped him for six damage or attempted to. So, six damage. Let's see what we draw. Six. So, six plus six drawn is 12. Ooh, we were really close to Eric giving his uh, hardest attack, um, but we're at 12, which means we barely got away with just drawing three. One. Two. Oh, no. So I thought I was a little lucky. However, as soon as I go to resolve this, I check to see if Sir Eric has drawn a reaction card. Sir Eric has drawn Dodge. Cancel an opponent's entire slap attack against you. <laughs> so my whole entire attack was countered. Okay. I'm going to process my disappointment, and then let's go back to resolving Sir Eric's uh, attacks. First, he's going to slap. I have nothing to counter it, so congratulations, Sir Eric. You gave me a little slap in the kisser. And then disarm... Uh, there's nothing for me to have disarmed, so that's going to get discarded with no effect. All right, well, I was doing pretty well. Not doing quite as well as I thought, but let's keep trying. I'll draw a card first. Metal Mask, that's pretty good. I'm going to draw another one to see if I get anything else to cause some damage. Backhand is very good because he would lose two turns, but I'm going to first start by protecting myself. I think after having that last uh, awful, awful thing happen. Aggro's not working for me, so I'm going to go ahead and play Metal Mask. That's my third action. Enemy action card drawn. Two. Nice and low. I don't add any slap damage to it, so if you take a look here, if I draw two, he only draws one card. So not too bad. But it's boost. Wow. Ah, that's really not the card that I would have wanted drawn for this, but that's all right. The good news is I can resolve Metal Mask because there are no reaction cards. Um, now, it's possible when he resolves Boost, he'll pull a reaction card that could counter Metal Mask, but player cards are resolved first. Timing is very important. Metal Mask is going to resolve first, so no matter what he gets here, he could pull out a Shove card that counters an Equip, but it is not going to take this one off because it's already been played. Now, on the other hand... If Boost is going to resolve, which it will, and Sir Eric of Slap draws a Disarm card, that's not good. Then I lose Metal Mask. Um, there's a very key timing here. So, one. Oh, Shove would have should would have taken care of it, but it's going to be meaningless here. Two. And three. All reaction cards, all of them have no effect with our current layout. So, sorry, Sir Eric of Slap. You put all that effort in for nothing. All right, let's do another turn. I'm going to draw one first. Nice, I got a slap card. I still don't have a ton of slap damage, so I'm going to leave that there. However, I am going to play backhand for my second action, and then for my third action, I am going to attempt another slap on Sir Eric. Let's draw his enemy action card for his moves. He gets four, plus one slap damage is five. And if you take a look on the card, 3 through 8, which is where 5 would be, would draw 2 cards. 1 and 2. And now let's resolve. Backhand. Sir Eric of Slap has nothing to counter it. And it says target loses 2 actions next turn. Now the way it works for the enemy is each action is each card or row of cards play. So I just successfully backhanded Sir Eric and took away all of his moves. Awesome. Which, to be honest, Sir Eric, you had it coming because you really punked me with that dodge card earlier. That means slap resolves, and now, Sir Eric, you have a total of five damage, so you better be saying your prayers, buddy. All right, for me, back to my turn. I'm going to draw a card for my first action. Uh, I could play Ice Pack, but I don't really want to right now. Draw another card for my second action, and I'm going to keep this card in reserve. Silly Dance is going to be nice the next time I want to slap. But I'm going to play Ice Pack for my third action and try and take some damage off. Sir Eric decides his cards by drawing. Draws a three. A three means draw two cards. Oop. It's important to play these in order. 
And I have Ice Pack. There is no reaction for it, so I'm going to go ahead and discard one of my damage. That feels nice. However, Sir Eric is going to slap me right back because I have no way to counter this. And then I have no way to counter his Ice Pack. So, Sir Eric is going to go ahead and heal. Now, when a enemy uses Ice Pack, it says, discard one damage card of your choice. Obviously, as a player... I am going to cancel the highest damage. For the enemies, part of what you need to do in order to play the game fairly, unless you want to house rule it, is you have to cancel the slap damage that does the most damage. Now, in this instance, I can't cancel critical slap because critical slap specifically cannot be discarded by ice pack. If it was two damage and it wasn't critical, then we would discard that one. You have to do that if you want to play by the official rules without house ruling it, though I am 100% in support of house rules. Because um, that can't be, I will just discard one of these slap cards. We are going on about 21 minutes, and I don't want this to be too long, so I'm just going to play about two more rounds, and if I have not won or lost, we'll just move on. I'm going to start by drawing a card. Cool. And then what I'm going to do, this is a risk, because I'm going to be without any cards whatsoever. I'm going to use my second action to play Silly Dance. For the record, Silly Dance uh, makes it so that the other player cannot play ability or reaction cards. Now remember, Silly Dance has not resolved, so that doesn't mean Sir Eric's not going to be able to counter. It means he won't be able to counter after that resolves. Then I'm going to play Slap with Slapped Silly here. I want to get some more damage in. So I'm going to play that for two damage. All right, let's hope for the best. Enemy action, eight. Plus two damage is ten. Ten means I draw three cards for Eric. One. Oh, not good. Two. Three. And right away, I can see that Silly Dance is going to resolve. There is no reaction here. So I'm going to go ahead and play Silly Dance. And sorry, I bumped my camera. I'm going to play this in the enemy slap slash damage status area. And then here's what happens next. It says opponent cannot play ability or reaction cards. Now, the one issue here, however, if you look, is... Uh, Sir Eric of Slap only has Slap cards. So it's not really going to help me here, but if there were ability cards, like let's say, for instance, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this around just to go ahead and give an example, then immediately I would go ahead and discard this card. Now that's not the case, but if there were ability cards in there, I would discard them. If there were reaction cards in there, I would just automatically discard them. Now from here... I get to play some slap damage, which is going to be a total of two. I'm going to play it right here. I tend to try to put the equal amounts of slap damage in the same row. That's just a preference thing. I have now caused a total of one, two, three, four, five, six damage. We're getting there. Uh, but unfortunately now, Sir Eric of Slap is <laughs> doing what he's doing. So we have a couple things going on here. We have slap cards all over the place. Um, I'm going to go ahead and first see that Epic Slap is going to slap me just all over. Um, in this instance, you can see that he has Slap Silly with it, so these can actually go together and be slapped for four. And then lastly, Disarm gets rid of my Metal Mask. And this is what's key here, is all slap cards can be played together. So otherwise, Metal Mask would have prevented Epic Slap from being turned like this. Since it is here and Disarm is here, it all gets taken off at the same time. And I now have 7 damage, and I'm not doing so well. Now that the turn's over, I also discard the status card, the same way that I would discard it for myself at the end of my turn. One more, and let's see. I'm not doing so well. Maybe if I live through another round, you, the viewer, do, do not get to watch me get destroyed. Draw a card, because I have no other choice. Draw a second card for my second action, because why not? And here's a part where I could go aggro and just really try to slap away, but I really want to get rid of this card, so I'm going to play Ice Pack. Draw another card, and it's <gasps> enemy equipped. Awesome. For him. 
I'm going to go ahead and play it right here. And then I'm going to reference Eric's uh, fanciful gauntlet. It says, for each slap card Sir Eric plays, turn one slap card in player's damage area to max damage. So that means um, anytime Sir Eric plays a slap card successfully against me, I would take one of the cards already in my area and I would turn them to max damage. So that's how that equip works. Um, let's go ahead and since the plus one is on there, I am going to use the equip and still have to draw another card which is one. Ooh, nice. He only draws one card. So to begin with, I'm going to resolve ice pack, which feels really nice since he nailed me with that epic slap. And then, um, unfortunately, Sir Eric's equipment is going to resolve. And now they are going to be able to not only slap me with uh, this for one extra damage due to gloves, which I think earlier in the video I forgot to apply. I apologize for doing that, but that's my oversight. Uh, but not only that, but for each card, I get to turn another one to the side. And you can see I currently have sustained one, two, three, four, five, six damage. And that's exactly how much Sir Eric has sustained, which seems like it's equal. Uh, the problem, however, is that Sir Eric has 14 HP and I have 10. Um, still, I would have a fighting chance with this, but since the video is going a little bit long, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, essentially, I would play until either Sir Eric of Slap has 14 damage in his Slap damage area, or I have 10 or more. a uh, 14 or more for him, or 10 or more in mine, and that would declare who is the winner, who is the loser, and we go from there. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I love solo gaming, uh, tabletop gaming myself. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you give it a try, and uh, thank you so much for watching.